try to get away from some of that sound. All right, so I'm down here visiting the Cut in Half channel today, and I brought him a motor, and uh, we're gonna cut it in half. And I also asked him to cut out my logo on a motherboard for me. So we're gonna give that a shot, see how it comes out. Here we go. All we have to do now is find a place to put this. I'm about right down here. Okay, I've got a motherboard sitting here in our water jet, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it so up. So this can actually cut through steel, uh, glass, and today we're gonna cut up a motherboard, and then we're gonna end up dipping that. This machine is capable of putting out a 60,000 PSI stream of water, and that is what we're gonna use to cut through the motherboard. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be using to make our, our picture frame. I need to cut this down to four pieces, 10 inches in length. All right, and that should be exactly what we're looking for. Now, what we wanna do next is miter these. Let's also do these here. As long as we line up this edge with this edge, we should get a perfect miter. Yeah, looks like we got a good crop of miters coming in this year. Everything's looking good. And what I'm using here is a band clamp, and it is pretty much perfect for this application. It applies equal pressure from all four corners, thus giving you a really nice square miter. We're bringing the band back together, man. So I'm just gonna take this out of the clamp. Funny little thing, the one that I actually showed you, I made the wrong size. It was a little small. So now I've got a second one. All right, so just a little sanding, and then we'll paint it. I really like the way the exposed plywood looks, so I'm gonna keep that. There we go. Initially, I had planned to put on several coats, but I really like the way the wood grain shows through. It's uh, easier for me, and um, I think it looks cool. That rarely works out that way, so I'll take it. All right, here's the situation. I have this sitting on my blue silicone mat. I have blue painter's tape all the way around sealing this in and if you're any other woodworking channel what you do is you cut a rabbit get a piece of plywood and put it back in but i want a resin back the resin that i'm using is opaque and will actually cure white And we're gonna pour ourselves a new back. A 
All right, let's hope it holds. And what's really cool about this is it cures in 10 minutes. So we can actually watch it cure. I don't see any leaks. That's a good thing. Well, you look at that. I got a box with a cool resin bottom. Okay, so all I'm going to do is build a very simple LED circuit. And that is using these LED strips. Close the connector. And now we should have a very simple circuit. Look at that, we've got lights. These all have self-adhesive backings. All right, and just a few finishing touches. I drilled a hole right here for my cable to go out so you won't see it coming out the side of the front. And I've got a couple of little riser blocks. Super glue bonds very well to urethane resin I found. And now the last thing to do is to secure our motherboard to our enclosure here. I'm going to use hot glue. I think that'll hold the best just because of all of the irregularities on the back here. I think that's all there is to it. This project was all about a lack of commitment. I started and stopped this project probably four or five different times with different directions that I was going. And then you can see I changed my mind again and got rid of the exposed plywood edges. I actually got a remote control for it and it's kind of fun. Now for me, this project was less about what I ended up making and more about getting a chance to go and see this water jet in action. And it was amazing. Now some of you may be asking yourselves, wait a minute, Peter, wasn't there something about a motor being cut in half? This one? <laughs> now if you want to see that video, go ahead and click right over here and it'll take you to the cut in half channel and show you what happened after I left the motor behind. If you like things getting cut in half, I can definitely recommend this channel. I know after seeing it in person, I am a huge fan. So head on over there and check it out. Also, I seem to be having an issue with my motor. I think it's something wrong with the bearings. Just doesn't seem to be working the same since I got it back.